Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. There's an unboxing here. My mail lady must have been a ninja. I've been up since 7.30. Me and my dogs did not hear anybody show up on the porch. But I went out uh, a few minutes ago at 10.30, and bang, there was a box of beer there. Uh, this is from Lee M. in Alberta. I'm going to pause this, un unpack some of it, because I can't really do one-handed. And then we'll just pull it all out and show you what we have. I won't even look at what they are yet. Uh, bye. Alrighty. So we got everything out of the bubble wrap, and I guess it's now time to check what we have, isn't it? Uh, so let's start on the far end. Hmm, Cantonbury Dark Mild. Is this a Canadian brewery? What is it? Is that a five? It's five percent alcohol. That's not really all that mild. Hey, whatever. Uh, you can hear my dog barking outside. Stupid dog. What else do we have here? Uh, we have Ribstone Creek's Lone Bison IPA. Now, I've had one Ribstone Creek beer, and that was the uh, Old Man Winter uh, Porter, which I thought was a great standard porter. Um, Spider Bite Beer Company. Boris the Spider Russian Imperial Stout. It's pretty cool label art right there. I like that. Now, what else do we have? This is Flat Cup Stout. Sorry, Flat Cap Stout. And it is uh, by Tool Shed Brewing. I've had a couple Tool Shed Brewing beers, uh, basically between him and. Uh, Reviewing under the influence. None of them have been bad. Uh, what do we have here? Mount Begby Tall Timber Ale. This is this is from BC, isn't it? Uh, Mount Begby. I'm sure I've had a Mount Begby uh, beer. Yeah, BC. Yeah, I had one. There was one that came to. Uh, to the LCBO once. What do we have here? Ivan the Terrible Imperial Stout by Big Sky Brewing in Montana. It's one of those uh, ceramic bottles too, or is it paint dipped? I can't tell. Has a cap though. My dog is an idiot. Ooh, Anchor Brewing's uh, Old Foghorn Barley Wine Style Ale. I didn't even know they made a barley wine. I've had their uh, Anchor Steam. Uh, basically, their their regulars, their Liberty Ale, their uh, stuff like that. What's this? This is uh, this Big Rock. I don't know what this is. Uh, The Great Northern Brewing Company, Wild Huckleberry Wheat Lager. A wheat lager? I've never even heard of that. Uh, that'll be interesting to try. I will take a picture of this later on and uh, do it on the Instagram and all that. Uh, Big Rock Brewing Company, uh, Bourbon Barrel Aged Porter. I did not realize they were really barrel aging. Uh, that's a big bottle, too. Alrighty. Uh, the Great White, Bur Great Northern Brewing Company in oh, this is this is from Montana, Whitefish, Montana. Going to the Sun IPA. I figured that would have been another Alberta brewery. Paddockwood, London Porter. I've had a couple Paddockwood beers. I've had their IPA and their Pilsner. Paddockwood is in Saskatchewan and. Uh, Basically, they had a weird story. I watched a video on them where they were talking about how they kept uh, selling out. They kept having more demand than their than their a bit availability, so they kept closing. Not not closing just to make more beer, but closing, and then they'd buy more stuff and reopen. No, you want the hype train there. You sell your stuff. You don't close. Uh, what is this? This is an IPA, White Raven IPA. Well, I'm not a Raven. I don't steal things from people. 
I ain't no raven. Um, this is from Alberta, though. Uh, Bench Creek Brewing White Raven. I'm actually amazed that there is uh, so many U.S. beers in here, especially with the uh, new taxes and everything. This is their this is Sierra Nevada's Hop Hunter IPA. Uh, another one that I've never had. I've had a bunch of Sierra Nevada beers that are usually fairly damn good. Um, Sierra Nevada's Pale Ale is probably one of my favorite, just standard pale ales. What do we have here? This is number 002. Firestone Walkers Luponic uh, Disto... Di sorry, Luponic Distortion. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for this beer mail. Uh, great thing about Alberta is you can get anything you want from anywhere. However, with the new taxes, it makes it more realistically feasible to buy local beers. And a lot of their local breweries uh, are pretty good. I mean, I haven't had a whole bunch of mind-blowing beers from the local breweries, but I think Alberta is in that spot where the local breweries are a little bit behind because the beer market was open for so long where you could have any beer from anywhere. So it's it's nice to see local breweries coming up. They have so many new local breweries opening up. They have they have so many uh regional macro brews out there. It's a it's an intriguing place to be if you uh if you're a beer drinker because there are all these new local breweries opening up and if you want to spend a lot of money there's still uh, a lot of beer to buy. Uh, thank you, and bye-bye.